It's also an extraordinary time for the NFL Players Association because as these things are unfolding, there's still time for players to vote on the collective bargaining agreement. The deadline is Saturday night, 11.59 p.m. Eastern, and an email was sent today to all agents encouraging them to make sure their clients vote, make sure they got their ballots, make sure they turn in their ballots, and it's all done electronically. And frankly, frankly, I think that the NFLPA Board of Player Representatives, which just a few days ago decided not to let players change their votes, I think they need to go back and revisit their votes on whether or not players should change their votes because a lot has changed in the last week since they opened the window for voting on the CBA. And now here we are. And what was the phrase from Richard Sherman? It was fear of what may happen that was being used to get people to vote yes for this CBA. Well, some things have happened over the course of the last week that may cause players to look at this CBA a little more clearly. And I haven't expressed an opinion on whether or not players should vote yes or vote no. My prevailing view has been this. Players need to understand the impact of voting yes or voting no. Because voting no means I'm voting no to Executive Director DeMora Smith of the NFLPA who negotiated this and who told me a week ago he's proud of the deal. He's proud of it and former NFLPA President Eric Winston proud of it. Well, Winston's out of the picture, but Smith isn't. And if you vote no on the deal, you're voting no on DeMora Smith. That's the position I've taken all along. I haven't said you should go no. I haven't said you should go yes. I've said if you're going to defer to the judgment of the guy that you hired to do the job, yes. If you don't want to defer to his judgment, no. And that's a different conversation after the vote comes back no, if it comes back no. Now I'm going to tell you, given everything that's happened, given all the reports and everything that's out there, given the way the economy's gone over the course of the last week or so, and given this brink of uncertainty, right? We're standing at the edge of the Grand Canyon potentially, but we don't know how deep it is and we don't know how long it's going to go. Given those circumstances, if my son, who's 23 and is right about the age that a young NFL player would be at, if he came to me and he said, Dad, what should I do about this? I'd say vote yes. And there's a very simple explanation for it. Because I've been covering this sport for 20 years. And I know what's going to happen next if the end result is no. What's going to happen is there aren't going to be any negotiations in the near term. There won't be. Unless the league does push back the start of the league year, and then there is a window there to maybe get something done and avoid the rules, the very restrictive rules in free agency of the final year of the current CBA. That would be the only exception that would maybe push the two sides back to the table. I think they're not coming back to the table for a while. The owners are going to want to assess the full cost to themselves, to the game, to everyone of this coronavirus situation. Beyond the human cost, the business cost, you see what the stock market's doing. It's down 1,000 points every day, it seems, like it was down 2,000 the last time I checked. These owners are losing a lot of money. When they go back to the bargaining table, there is a good chance that, you know, that bluster that we saw, it was kind of a clumsy report from ESPN that there are some owners that want the players to vote no because they regret the deal and they want to go back and renegotiate it and get a better deal. Well, that may have been BS on Saturday, but again, the world has changed in the last five days. Right now, my guess would be that a majority of the owners would say, thank God they voted no. Because first of all, who knows if the TV money is going to be there after everything that's going on. The networks may take a step back and say, we want to see how deep this coronavirus hole is before we commit hundreds of millions slash billions of dollars to the NFL over the next decade. So let's just wait a year. That could happen. And the owners may just decide, hey, you know what? We're, you didn't take the deal, and it was a great deal, and now things have changed, and you're coming back to the bargaining table, and sorry, we're calling your bluff. We're sticking it to you. And if you don't like it, hold out. Just go on strike. Or we'll lock you out, and we'll see whether or not you cave. Either way, I, I believe now, and, and look, this is where we got to set aside ego. Kenny Stills last week in the video that he posted talking about why players should vote no said we got to puff up our chest. Well, you know what? Sometimes when you puff up your chest, someone uh, sticks it with a needle and it goes flat. I, th this isn't a time for ego. This isn't a time for bravado. This isn't a time for talking tough. This isn't a time for constantly going to Twitter and trying to cajole people into voting no when it may not be in their best interest to vote no. It's in their best interest to vote yes. 
My, my assessment and my judgment is that this deal that's on the table right now, the NFL would not put this deal on the table right now. The deal's on the table. Circumstances have changed in a way that makes it less advantageous to the NFL. And I think now's the time for the players to take it and run with it because they're going to regret, I believe, not taking the deal if the ultimate vote is no and if and when they go back to the bargaining table and they find that the owners are in a much different mood than they've been for the course of the last year. All right, that's it for this special edition of PFT OT. Look, I don't know what's going to be happening weekdays on PFT Live. We are trying to keep the staff at a minimum at the NBC Sports Group studio in Stamford, Connecticut. So we may not be on the air next week, but we will be generating videos one way or the other, whether someone's there to turn on the camera or whether I'm using my cell phone device from this seat and we are all working at home to get the video content posted. We will have thoughts like this for you to supplement our writings at profootballtalk.com. And if free agency begins, look, I disagree with that, but we'll cover it like we always do. And we will be the one-stop shop where you get all of the news, all of the information, all of the analysis, and all of the diversion that you may be looking for as we try to deal with this dramatic alteration of our reality and hopefully come together, work toward a solution, understand that there will be better days, but also accept the fact that there will be worse days before those better days come. We'll talk to you soon, and thanks, as always, for your support. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.